day of my field placement for my BSW. I'm at an elementary school and so today's my last day at one of my schools and then tomorrow's my last day at the other. I figured I'd make a video to not only remember for myself but also just to give a picture into what a BSW field placement can look like. what school social workers do is just we get referrals from teachers sometimes parents or like principals sometimes for behavior reasons or if they suspect something's going on at home and they just want us to dig deeper so really the overall goal is to meet the psychosocial academic and physiological needs of students and so usually that's individual sessions with students or group sessions with students sometimes mobilizing resources to help out a student or help out a family especially for those physical needs just being a resource in the school and being a person for the students and for their families to ensure that every student is being able to have the best environment they can in order to learn well and to succeed well in the future. So it's about 2 p.m. right now. We've seen a couple of students. I've been doing termination sessions, so just pulling a student, asking how they can be supported after I'm gone, and just saying bye. It's been good. It's kind of sad leaving. In a bachelor's of social work program, you get a field placement the first semester of your senior year. At University of Alabama, you don't get to pick your agency. It gets picked for you. So I got matched with the school system, who then matched me with the social worker that's my supervisor now. And so it's been really good. I've been here for three months and I've learned a lot about what school social work does because I had no idea before. So I just finished my second to last day and my field placement. I'm gonna make this update quick because I'm being blinded right now. But like I said, it was a pretty slow day. I think I explained a little bit what school social workers do while I was in there. We're also there for crisis intervention. I don't think I mentioned that, but like if a student's having like a tantrum in school, that's the most common crisis. They have a calm down corner. I'll insert a clip here so you can see it too. But that's pretty widely used for younger grades just so that there's a place where students can learn how to calm down because a lot of coping skills students don't always know and those are important but i'm about to leave this school forever which is really weird but i have one more day tomorrow at my other school and then i'm done with my bsw field placement wow wow but i'm gonna drive home it's about 30 minute drive from rural alabama to slightly less rural alabama so I kind of main character with my windows down singing in the car on the back roads. I feel like this isn't the day in my life since I can't really film in the schools with privacy. I feel like this is like me giving information and little tidbits in different locations in my life, but I've made it back home. Recap of the day, we saw three students. Each of them was kind of just a fun session. There weren't necessarily like activities that we were specifically doing, just kind of drawing or playing and chatting, but it was a pretty slow day. I just have some documentation to catch up on tonight. And then honestly, the rest of my night will be pretty boring. And then I will let you follow along with me tomorrow too, just to get the last day of my my field. Well, update, I just filmed an introduction video for this YouTube channel. Since like, how do you just jump in here whenever you don't know anything about me? Um, super informal, but I'm excited to get this going. Good morning, it is 5.30, I gotta sleep in. I usually wake up at five. Welcome to the second day, following me around, my last day of field. I'll film more of the day today, today, day, today, today. But first I gotta make coffee, eat breakfast. It's 
seven o'clock now and I'm heading to my car in the parking lot to start to head to school. As I got ready today, I was listening to the New York Times Daily podcast, which is about the economy today, which I'm not an expert on, but it doesn't seem great. People were walking towards me and I got nervous, but I listened to the New York Times Daily and I also listened to an episode of the Social Work podcast. The episode today was about self-psychology and kind of how it's used in social work. And so that's a theory that each person wants to feel coherent, they want to feel vital, like alive, and they want to feel connection with other people, like understood. In practice, it talks about how empathy is not only a tool for assessment, but it's also a tool for intervention. I'm going in still a little bit earlier than I have to, just to get some homework done, and also because since it's my last day, I want as many hours as I can just at the school. drive it's about 30 miles on the highway about 45 minutes total there were seven policemen on the side of the road looking for people speeding in that 30 mile stretch i82 be like that if you know you know um, also something i was listening to my spotify daily mixes because i really like those and i was listening to one and it was like lewis capaldi like ed sheeran you know like kind of slow easy but like fun to sing along to and then tiktok by kesha came on i don't hate it but also why? Anyways, I'm about to go into school. Students are arriving as well right now. Welcome to my second office. It's 7.50 right now, so school officially starts in 10 minutes. My first activity of the day is at 9. I go and teach a preschool class. I usually have three of those a week. So on Tuesdays, it was 9, 9.30, and then today's a Thursday, so it's just 9. Today's lesson, I use second step curriculum, but they're learning like how to solve arguments with friends, and then also like how to join in if you wanna play, as you can kinda like see there. I also bring this puppy with me because he keeps an eye on who's being an active listener during the lesson. They really love puppy. I forgot him one week and it was, we couldn't focus. We just kept having to ask where puppy was. So that's at nine. So I have about an hour and 15 minutes until then where I'm just gonna be getting some work done, like schoolwork for my online classes. My preschoolers gave me a going away gift. Look, it says social worker now and making a difference in the lives of others. And it has their little fingerprints all around it. I'm not gonna lie, this made me tear up. My supervisor gave me this mug for going away. It's RPG with all of her quotes. When there are nine, I just sent, yes, women are here to stay. This is an emotional day. It's 10 a.m. now. I have two kids that I'm planning on pulling today just to do termination sessions similar to yesterday. Just saying goodbye, wrapping up services, getting closure, and figuring out a plan for how they can be supported after I'm gone. And then I believe my supervisor is pulling a couple of kids that are on her caseload today too. So a little bit more action than yesterday, but still a pretty slow day. Some days are slow, especially right now with COVID. So many teachers are so busy and so overwhelmed that it's kind of the last thing on their mind to make referrals to us. So we kind of have to seek them out more this year. But also it's nice to have some wiggle room within the day in case some sort of crisis situation were to come up so that we could be on hand for that. Another thing that's different with COVID is that our role has been a big attendance role. Some students that are remote and just not heard from, they don't log on, they don't do work. And so then there's been a couple of times done home visits just to check on families, see if there's anything going on or just why they're not logging in, see if there's any resources they need. And then also to... Um, and then also to keep accountability with attendance because kids have to go to school or have to do school at least. I know it's different now. I'm about to drive away from my very last day. There's my school behind me. Bye. <laughs> About to put in my last hours so i'll show you what that looks like here's the school social work thing that we have to put our hours in so when i come here i go to student log and then this is all of where we put our hours and so as of now i am no longer 
in field. I'm no longer an intern. I really just can't believe it's over. That's really weird. So a recap of the day. It's starting to hit that I'm not going back, which is getting kind of sad, but I'll survive. The kind of bummy thing, two students, the ones that I've seen the most this semester, neither of them could be pulled today. One was absent, another like couldn't miss class, which, so I didn't really get a proper like goodbye or termination, which is okay. Like they'll be okay, but that was kind of a down part on the day, but I enjoyed spending my last hours with my supervisor. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss the other students. So now what I'm gonna do, it's only like 4 p.m., but I'm very hungry and I don't have any food here since I'm moving out in two days. So I'm gonna go get an early dinner and then hopefully I won't get hungry again since like I said, I have no food here. But then the rest of the night, I'm just gonna spend starting to pack up my room for all that I'll need in the next six weeks when I'm gone. So I got the Oasis Bowl, which is blueberry, banana, and peanut butter on the inside. And then for toppings, I just can't promise that these are the best ones. But anytime they ask, I always get nervous and forget what I'm actually wanting. But I got Nutella, granola, kiwi, raspberry, and honey. Again, I don't think I would pick that again. Yeah, this is a Bama staple. They're kind of expensive. They're $12, I think, if you pay with dining dollars, but then $10 if you pay with a different card. But very convenient, also good. Day of reflection of field placement. I feel sad that I'm gone, but I also am definitely thankful for how much I learned this whole semester. Going in, I knew in class what they teach us about social work, but it's just so, so different being in it. And even too, just specifically with school social work, I had like no idea what school social workers did before this semester and now I want to be one. So that just shows like how impactful they are. But I'll end out this video here just because I'm not doing anything interesting later tonight and you saw the best parts of it already today. I hope you choose to stick around. That would excite me greatly as I get better at this and as more happen. And I hope that we can engage in some good conversations. I plan on having some videos kind of like this, but then also taking time to sit down and talk about topics that are kind of hard and topics that relate to social work, just to have open discussion on my little corner of the internet. See you next time. <laughs>